Hey everybody, Bill Owen from MMPCTech.com. I've got Jesse back again from the ModZoo.com. If you recall in the last video, we unboxed the new Fantex Intu Primo Full Tower case. And that was outdoors here at the shop and now we're inside because the uh, Sahara-like temps here in Minnesota have been just too much. Oh, I was <laughs> supposed to have body parts frozen, not melted. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now you're working on the review article that for the is Mazu. Correct. I'm working on the review article of the new Fantex N3 Primo case. And by the way, I think we should thank Toby for figuring it out what it actually means. That's right. Uh, Toby told us that Intu Primo means enthusiast one. Although we haven't got validation from Fantex yet, but it sounds good. It sounds good, and yeah. <laughs> so anyways, as you can see, the build is almost there. I have Primo Chill Heartland tubing running in there. Nice. Uh, along with the ghost fittings. Primarily reason being, I wanted to put some contrast with the black overall. Looks and great. Primo Chill was, is the only company I've Looks nice and with. clean. Thank you. I mean, that's one of the things I did like about this case. It's easier to do a clean build in there. All right, Jess, what are the system specs that you've got on your build for the review? Well, I'm going to start with the motherboard. It's using the EVGA's newest X79 Dark motherboard. Uh, the processor I'm using at the moment is an i7-3820. Only reason being because I'm waiting for the next gen Ivy Bridge E processors to come out. Mm -hmm. Uh, for SSD, I'm using the Samsung, the standard Samsung Evo SSD, the new ones. Uh, GPUs, in this build, we have two Titans in SLI mode. Mm -hmm. Other than that, we for to keep everything cooled, uh, VRE, I'm using EK's Supremacy CPU block with a Plexi acrylic clear top. Mm -hmm. uh, the GPUs are being cooled by, again, using EK full blocks with the back plate. Uh, the rest pump combo I'm using is the EK DDC pump top with the rest built onto it. Uh, the pump is pump that is being used is the Swiftec MCP35X. Tubing that I'm using, the tubing and fittings I'm using is the Primochel Rigid Acrylic tubing and their ghost fittings. Did you bend that tubing yourself? Yes. It was not that bad. It's fairly easy to bend. That with looks practice, great. With little practice. And for the liquid, I went with white tubing so that I don't have to use any kind of dyes or anything. Mm -hmm. And I'm just using distilled water for now. Uh, for the radiators, I'm using two Alpha Cool radiators, a 480 Monster, which is installed in the bottom, mm -hmm. and push pull with eight fans. There's also a 360 radiator on the top, uh, the UT45 or the XT45. Please excuse me on that one, exact model number, but it's a 45 millimeter thick. Mm -hmm. uh, it's running in pull right now, I'm going to add more set of fans there to have it in push pull. Uh, included bracket for mounting the tube reservoirs does not work if you're having anything more than an SLI. Mm -hmm. The way I have my cards placed in the case, I'm using three card spacing to have two cards so I can use the nice EVGA SLI adapter with the, with the, the new SLI badge. Mm -hmm. So that makes me use three, you know, skip a lane mm -hmm. and go to the next one and because of that the, the res bracket will not go in, it comes in the way. So that becomes useless, so I can't mount a reservoir mm -hmm. there. Then I thought about mounting a reservoir on the back panel where they have pre-drilled holes and spacing for it. That didn't work out either because any res that I was using was getting in the way of the radiator or getting too close and hitting the cards, mm -hmm. which I did not want. That was going to be a nightmare for me to run. Would you say that they geared it more towards liquid cooling or? They geared it towards, I'm going to be honest, mostly yes, I would say yes, it's geared towards a liquid cooler, but they did not forget air coolers as mm -hmm. well. The way everything is laid out and planned mm -hmm. out, there's enough cable routing space, there is enough space to routing, if you want to route tubing behind the case, there's enough space for all that. Mm -hmm. And did you use all the original factory fans in it too? I did not use two, I'm only using three. Mm -hmm. the, t the intakes and the exhaust fans? Yes, the front intakes and the exhaust. Mm -hmm. Which uh, fans are you using in your setup? I'm using, for now, I'm using the Enermax TV Silence PWM fans. Okay. Because I just like to ease of control. All right. I might switch them out to some better fans down the line, but for now I'm sticking What about those. the lighting? What did you do for that? 
Lighting, I'm just using good old eBay strips. Um, eBay strips? Yeah. <laughs> I know it sounds pretty weird. What the hell is an eBay strip? I haven't seen those at Performance or Frozen. I'm not going to pay 30 bucks for a LED strip. Well, looking at the Fantex, there's some little nitpicks like we saw early on, but overall, it looks to be really what we've been waiting for on our market. Correct. It, I mean, it is. They put a lot of thought into what a beginner might want, and I said this the first time, and I'll say this again. This is a really great case for a beginner who wants to get into water cooling, who is kind of scared you know, as to will this case fit what I want to get, what I want to try out. The Enthu takes care of a lot of those things. There are a couple issues, like, you know, I would have loved the case to be slightly bigger to, so it could accommodate a thicker uh, tube reservoir without any issues. Mm -hmm. I personally love tube reservoirs because they are just so easier to bleed and I just think they look better than a bay reservoir and I don't like to use anything mm -hmm. in the bays. And as of now, I have my tube reservoir mounted in the bay itself, the five and a quarter <laughs> uh, bays, so that's where I have that. But yes, the, I cover more in detail as to you know what other issues I discover I feel might be potential issues for probably not a beginner, but you know somebody who's a seasoned you know water mm -hmm. cooler who's a seasoned enthusiast who wants to try something different. There's still a lot of things that you can change. You can try to add to this case to make it better. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not the most perfect case, and if the day we get a most perfect case, then we'll, we'll miss you, Bill. No. <laughs> I'll go back to car stuff. <laughs> well, I think what you're underlining is that it has a lot of options for different it, personal it tastes. It does. I mean, in terms of radiator compatibility, your typical 120 mil radiators and 140 mil radiators, you're not going to have any issues fitting the standard radiators yeah. out there. Yeah. I mean, I have a monster radiator running in push-pull and I still have room to spare. Cool. All right, so just watch themodzoo.com for Jesse's review on the Fantex Into Primo and thanks again to Fantex for sending us the early sample Yes. and thanks for watching and leaving your comments and questions and we'll have another video soon.